Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. We're back here at my friend Dean's place, SoCal Classic Car Storage in Orange County. And we're here with Daniel, finally. You had an engine thing happen, yep. you had something else with your car, then of Wiring course we were shoot. finally gonna shoot and it rains on yep. us. So here we are, we got a sunshiny day. <laughs> the car's running good. What year is it? Uh, 62 Chevy Six Bel Air. It's a pretty rare car. Yeah. They're hard to find. We looked yeah, for yeah. two years. My wife found it by mistake on Craigslist back then. She misspelled bubble top, made it one word instead of two. And that's how we found it in Phoenix. And when you got it, was it a was it what we see or was it no? No floors, firewall the trunk, no engine, no trans. It didn't even have drums in the back. It was just axles. And so it was you're horrible. Total, total dumb. Total. Quarter yeah. panels, rockers, floors, new hood. It, it's, it was beat. There was no no chrome moldings on the window. The only thing it had was the side moldings. Everything's new, new bumpers, everything's new. Well, I love the color you did on it, by the Appreciate way. What, it. what is the color called? Candy Brandy Wine. How long ago was it painted? Now, about two and a half years. Okay. About two and a half so years. So the car's fairly fresh for you. It's all within the last few years that it's... Yeah. It only has about, right now, 3,000 miles on it. And before the camera started rolling, I heard you talking to Dean. Under the candy brandy, is you have a charcoal base charcoal to it, base. you said? Charcoal base, yes. Everybody usually does silver or black. Yeah. Uh, but this gives a little more of a, a, more of a red, but you still get the depth of the candy. Yeah. I mean, it looks so bitching when the light hits it outside. I appreciate it. Looks it yeah. so good. Man. Yeah, we were happy with it. Let's pop the hood and see what we've done engine-wise here. I know it's, if I remember correctly, you got a big block, right? Uh, this is an LS3. Oh, got it. It is. Yeah, LS3. We originally went with a stock motor, and we kept hearing a knock in it. Very minor. I took it to CBM. They said, yeah, we hear it. So we pulled it out, gave it to them. They stroked it out. It's a 427 now. I don't tell everybody that. Well, you just did. <laughs> <laughs> 427 LS3. It's got a 200 R4 uh, art car transmission behind it. It's got the original rear end, stamp posi from the factory. So okay. we put posi gears in, it's got 411s in it. Oh wow, you got it geared low. Yeah. That transmission has what, a fourth speed? It does, has an overdrive. Yeah. Has an overdrive. So, so you're fine then, oh, yeah. freeway driving oh, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, what does. do you make power wise with this? The last time we had it dynoed with three bad cylinders, we were a little over 600 to the wheels. And that was with three bad cylinders? Yeah. Steve kept messing with it. He goes, you got so two bad well cylinders. over six at the tires then. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it, it, <laughs> it was really good. And then brakes, I see Willwood Master. Is it Willwood's all around on the car? Willwood's all around. Uh, I think it's 14s in the front, 12s in the rear, six pistons and four pistons in the back. Right, so you got a lot of brake. Yeah. All global West suspension, arms. The rear's custom made uh, to two link with a sway bar. Coil okay. overs all the way around. Did you have this car built or did you build a lot of it yourself? We did a lot of it in my garage. I, I did the rear end once, I four linked it. We broke it with the first motor. John at Jazz Hot Rod, he did the rear end again and it's been holding up with this bigger motor in it, so we've been doing all right. We fit it all together in my garage, put it all together, took it all apart, they painted it separate and it came out pretty good. It, it came out really good, dude. The car looks great, man. Is it a manual brake setup? Yes. It is. It's funny, a lot of people are scared of manual and I think they're kind of bitching. It's not bad, like driving law is not bad, but like light to light, it's a pain to hold it. And we had a lot, a lot of, of pressure, a huh? lot of pressure, a lot of adjustment issues, but there's just so much torque. Yeah. I'll throw out neutral sometimes a red light because your leg gets tired, like driving a stick shift. <laughs> yeah. You barely let go a little bit, it's rolling. Dude, I love this. Yeah, the two four barrels, yep. I want a little bit of an old school look on a new motor. Yeah. So that's why I use those, but you get a lot now more air there. Is it throttle there. bodies or is it carbureted? Throttle bodies. The fuel rails, both sides. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, just yeah. the air. It's just the See, air. See, I just unit. showed you how much I don't work on cars, right? <laughs> it's really funny though, because it's deceiving, right? You look at it and you assume yeah. that it's a carbureted car. Yeah. And it's a Holly setup on here. Holly setup. What is it? The trick flow heads, Matson's radiators. Eddie mm -hmm. Hinge's front and the trunk as well. Mm -hmm. It's so cool with LS's too, how you have the ability to dress them up now to yeah. know, make it look like it's oh, yeah. covers and stuff. Like it's it's funny to me too, because uh, you know, it's I guarantee you, we're gonna hear comments on it. Another LS. It, yeah. It's so funny though, because it, it's such a good engine. Yeah. I and mean, you can make great power with it. They're not a ton of money. They're reliable. It's like why like yeah. why not? Yeah, I was against them as well. I had a big block in my garage for a year or two. 800 horsepower, and I was like, it runs race fuel. I couldn't drive it nowhere. I dumped that thing. And then when, when you finally get them tuned in, they're pretty decent. I looked for originally because a 409 car didn't have the motor in it. The block's like 10 grand, the heads are like another five grand. I'm like, there's no way. 
just for the parts. And then the 20 plus thousand just building the block. Building yeah. 409. I mean, I get the idea of keeping it there, but it's like, I don't know, dude, it's a custom car. You know, you're yeah. not, you're not building a Concorde. Oh or, yeah. You know, Numbers you, matching nothing. Still all stock framework underneath other than that what you've done with the, yeah. the control arms yeah. and, the, and the rear. We did a little reinforcing in the rear to hold the uh, tooling together. But other than that, it's a stock frame. Yeah. No issues. You don't. Nothing pretty yet. Beefy. Pretty yeah. beefy. <laughs> I tested it once in a while. <laughs> I don't know you smile and say nothing yet. <laughs> I mean, the stance on this car is really bitching. Like you're low. But you're not brutal low, you know, you've got, right. you've definitely got clearances on it. Yeah, that's what we went for. We go as low as we can where the tires don't rub. What are the wheels, shot? Yeah, shot wheels. These are 20s and then 22, the 22 12s in the back with the small tub in the rear, not much. And then shorten the rear end an inch so it wouldn't rub the quarter panels. And yeah. what do you run tire size back there? I have no idea. No? <laughs> the smallest it fits. Oh, uh, now I'm curious. We gotta, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta figure out what the tire size is on here. <laughs> Not that I can see anything because it's all tucked. Five minutes later. I can't see it, but I'm guessing 335. That's a big tire you got back there. I, I guarantee I'll it's down you're to 335. No, you're threes. Let's look. Let's figure it out. <laughs> I want to. You're buying lunch. Oh, 295. 295. 295. 25. Got it. Told you it's in the twos. I'm surprised, bro. Well, I guess I get to buy lunch. That's it. It's bitching, man. Yeah, it's we put them on and he's like, you need bigger tires. And no, I like them small. It's the look you wanted though. I get it, dude. Yeah. It's, it's, I would venture to guess you more cruise this than anything. You probably nail it from time to time, but you're probably a cruising. No, you're in it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. I'm going to prepare. The wife knows it too. I'm going to prepare myself for the ride. We're going to I get come out of my neighborhood there. and there's a big street behind it. And every time it's like, I hear you. I'm like, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. Well, it's not quiet. Speaking of which, what is your exhaust setup? And I love that you went with a side exit and you went oval on it. It has the stainless steel Flowmaster, stainless steel all the way back. It's like a pack, square pack Flowmaster. Mm -hmm. I, but I wanted it loud, so I was just, it's just straight through. Oh, it's loud. Yeah, dude. and, and it gets loud. Up. It's got cutouts on it, so it oh, can does make it, it louder. Wait, so when you just pulled in, the cutouts are closed? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit, this thing's got to really be That's loud. That's the quiet then. mode. So when you're typically rolling through the cruise, do you have them open or closed? Closed. <laughs> so because this car is so loud, we have a two-story house. My kids are above it. So I push it out in the street. Down, I push it like a house down. I start it up to take Seriously? off. Seriously? Oh, yeah. Ah. Like going to Derelict or the quarantine cruise, everybody's asleep at you know, 8 o'clock. You're pushing in the morning. Yeah. I just noticed that. That's a natural line, isn't it? Yeah. And then the chrome bends around it right here. What'd you do? Buy replacement trim for it? Or did you have to? This actually was on it. We had to buy the window frames and the moldings on the sides. Um, and all the all the drip rail stuff as well. Yeah. yeah. God, that's a lot of chrome to buy. Yeah, huh? but luckily it's the same as a '61 Impala. Is it's it just, really? Yeah, it's the same bubble top, so all this stuff fit. So that's why I get so confused between a bubble top Bel Air and an Impala because they look very similar. Yeah. So Impala, the body is the same. It's just the top's different. Yeah, but yeah, 62 yeah. bubble top is, they call it a spare parts car. They have 61 tops, so they put them on the 62 cars. I hear like 1,500 to 2,000 of these were made. That's it? That's it. Wow. Well, you got powered seats. What's your seats out of? It's a stock seat. Nah. -uh. <laughs> it's a stock seat. All Get the interior is stock. Stock seats, all recovered, fluffed up a little bit. We made these in my garage. This seat came electric stock? Yeah. <laughs> no yeah. shit. It was an I, option. Crazy, man. I mean, I'm showing how much I don't know these cars. Like, I always think bubble tops are so bitching, too. But I really don't know them well. And then you said Dakota Digital? Yes, sir. So it's all fits into all its stock positions, yep. right? All the gauges are factory positions. And you run AC in here? Yeah. We had the controls hidden in the glove box. We covered up the old uh, ashtray hole and then, like, the old AC sliders in the dash. It was in the middle where it's blank. Oh, it was, okay. That was the ashtray, and then next to the key to the left would have been the AC up and down handles. Yeah. We covered those up. Is this stock to it, this, yeah. this extra glove box here? Yeah, there's not extra. Oh, there's, there's not one. a glove box over there, is yeah. there? Yeah. Showing how much I'm not familiar with these old Then bubbles. the Impala had the, like the oh shit handle on the dashboard over there. Yeah. You gotta know, by the way, too, I see lap belts in a metal dash and I start having PTSD immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The brakes were a little spongy this morning, but we should be all right. Um. Don't tell me that. <laughs> we're gonna end the video there. There will be no driving. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny, dude? I mean, I, 
I'm glad I'm able to joke about it. I mean, what happened happened, right? It was a series of bad choices made that day, yeah. in my opinion, that led to that crash. Yeah. I didn't let it ruin my fun, you know? I still, yeah, I prefer getting in a car that's got either a shoulder or full harnesses yeah. and actually putting them on, yeah. you know? But we still shoot cars like this that have lap belts. We just shot a truck last week, a beautiful, beautiful C10. He hasn't put his belts in yet. He just, he, it, it's a semi-fresh yeah. build. You know, he's put seven, 800 miles on the truck so yeah. far. And it has no belts in it. And it's like, I mean, we're shooting American muscle cars. If I was going to make it, we only shoot things with shoulders or harnesses. Right. We're going to eliminate a lot of really good cars. You lose cars. a lot of videos, yeah. We're, we are. Yes, I prefer harnesses, you guys, but <laughs> but I'm not going to I'm not going to shy away from this at all. Well, dude, if we haven't left anything out, man, let's uh, we'll do the fun part, which is get the cameras in and go for a little cruise around the neighborhood. All right. All right on. We're going to go for a drive, you guys. Feels good on the road. Oh yeah, it's pretty solid. Okay, so you just got the oh shit face. Did you guys see that? I mean, seriously, within 30 seconds of being in his car, he's already got the holy shit face out of me. You know, I tell you this much, dude. It's I'm sure you're the same, right? Sitting in the passenger seat, there's always the first few minutes. How does this guy drive? You said this car has how many miles on it? 3,000, 3,900. So you're at almost 4,000 miles of driving this car. I'm sure by now you've probably worked through the kinks and bugs and- it, Oh yeah. I'm, yeah, for the most part. We don't have no issues lately, so. Yeah, knock on metal. Yeah. <laughs> Do the kids love riding in this? Oh, my son comes out in the garage and jumps around the seat. Really? He loves it. Yeah, this car really sounds good. It's funny how LS is, depending on what you do exhaust-wise, they really can change the tone dramatically. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, this thing almost sounds, it almost sounds big blocking. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. I didn't want the Corvette sound. Yeah. You know? But Who'd you say built the motor again? CBM, Motorsports. Are they a local to you in Anaheim? No, they're out in Colton. They do mostly like sand rail stuff. Oh, got it, okay. But they do a lot of motors and big builds and stuff like that for the yeah. engine, engine wise. Yeah, yeah. Seems like your shift points are really good on it. And so, then when you stay in it, does it does it hold the gears longer for you? Yeah. Yeah. That's what was the hardest part, getting the transmission adjusted. Because everybody yeah. wanted electronic, but it's manual. Right. The transmission is run by a cable. Just a smile. That wasn't an oh shit face. <laughs> It'll go. Awesome, brother. I like it. This car's rad. This car's so bitching. I've been waiting for this. What do you guys think? Pretty bitching car, right? I tell you, it feels a lot better to me when I know a car's got miles because I know it's... I don't care how good of a builder you are, there's always going to be things to sort out, you know? There just are. I can tell this thing definitely gets down. It does all right, it does all right. Thank God though, so far it's not the scare the piss out of me power, it's the like, <laughs> okay, like you got the oh shit face a couple times, but it feels like, I mean obviously I'm in the passenger seat, but it feels like the car really does sit on the road. Yeah, it's pretty nicely. solid. Like you've got a good driving car. Yeah. I'm still surprised you put a 295 on the rear of this thing. Yeah. It's really funny the way it, the way it sits on that wheel, because what'd you say, it's a 20 by 12 back there? Yeah, 22. 22 by 12. Yeah. You can tell, you stretched it as far as you could get a tie, like it, you know. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's gotta look right. I don't care, like the ride, it's, it's gotta look right. Yeah. But again, dude, you're not out autocrossing and road coursing, you street drive this car, you do like we're doing, you have some fun in it.
like that. <laughs> was that a better oh shit face? <laughs> that was awesome, dude. I just went five-year-old mode, hands up in the air on the roller coaster. <laughs> buddies told me he does a lot of LS build he always pushes people to manual brakes and he said his reasoning is uh, way less chance of ever having failure with manual brakes yeah it's the same with the keys off or on it's not it doesn't get any easier right so yeah right. it makes sense plus I can already tell you like to get on it but you don't drive like an asshole or so far you haven't Daniel <laughs> I have the conversation with everyone before we shoot, which is, hey, it's easier if I drive for the roller shots, da 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 I got this whole conversation I go through. I didn't go through that conversation with Daniel today because I could already tell the answer was going to be, no, you're not driving my car. I'm not sitting in the passenger seat. <laughs> have you ever sat in the passenger seat of your car? Almost. Almost. My wife was going to drive it once, but the electric seat didn't work, so she couldn't reach the pedals. <laughs> I fixed me. that. What do you guys think? I think he rigged it. I think he rigged it to make sure the wife couldn't drive the car. You can test it. It works now. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> Like, why would I ask that? You've already done one. <laughs> customizing in my opinion are your Im imagination and your budget yeah you know what I mean <laughs> dude the cutouts are ridiculous how loud I don't know if you guys noticed the difference in sound just now but that's cutouts open it's so funny dude your car is loud as fuck already with them closed <laughs> Do you notice any difference in performance when you open them? Yeah, it gives a little more. A little it more does? Oh, yeah. Because it breathes more so it'll dump more fuel, kind of? Like right now, you pull that, you can feel like more pressure pushing on you. Yeah. 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 Well, that was badass, man. I've been waiting quite a while for this. I mean, we're talking somewhere in the neighborhood of three years waiting to shoot this car. Absolutely love it, man. The look of the car is undeniable. It's beautiful. It drives down the road great. It does a perfectly good burnout. It sounds great. Cutouts open or closed. I mean, just a really, really genuinely nice, nice build, man. I'm stoked we finally got to shoot it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh, I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.